Yo, what is up? I'm going to tell you today the importance of being able to get attention. It's not getting attention for the sake of getting attention. It's not like you're trying to feed into your own ego. Although if you're doing that, fuck it, and it's working for you, keep going along with it. However, a lot of guys who I can relate with because I was super shy, super humble, unassuming, played it safe. I always thought that if I was just nice and a good person, that that'd be enough. But in fact, if you are not allowing yourself to get attention, you're basically like a girl who's wearing a hijab trying to appeal to the opposite sex. You're basically trying to downplay everything and just hope that people will be able to see through the veil, literally, and get to know you for who you are. But to the other person, they're just like, I have no idea what's on the other side of this. You could be a nice person, but I'm just not gonna be attracted to you because there's really not much to see. And maybe there are exceptions. Maybe there's a time where you just can kind of see someone's eyes slit and be like, wow, that person's probably really pretty on the other side. But if we've learned anything from COVID, sometimes people should keep their masks on. <laughs> That's what it's like for girls when they see you downplaying yourself. When you're stifling yourself and you're just not getting out of your shell, not projecting, not taking up space, and just downplaying your personality, or worse off, not even developing or cultivating your personality. That's like a girl not learning how to put on makeup and dress up to the nines or playing her part. So yeah, sure, maybe some girls can look good in sweatpants and like a hoodie and just like really look beautiful, but those are like the rare, rare, rare exceptions. Those are like the 1% of beauty. But even if you are like, I hate putting numbers to this, a six, seven, or even a five, but you know how to like carry yourself well, you know how to have personality, you know how to be engaging, charismatic, and look good. That's like grooming yourself. That's actually taking pride in yourself. That's giving people a visual experience that they'll appreciate. Think about it that way. Your contribution to people's experiences. That's what it's like when you project, you put yourself out there, you create the fun, you don't give a fuck, you bring this air of confidence, even an air of playful cockiness. Cocky playful, as David D'Angelo would say. That's what it's like when you're able to take attention. Social pressure, as they would say. Maybe it's outside of your comfort zone, but that doesn't matter. Everybody has their own weaknesses. You probably are very comfortable with things that guys out there, including myself, might not be that comfortable with, like being a complete loser. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so you have to lean into it, little by little. Dude, not too long ago, if I wore this shirt out, I would have been completely embarrassed. I would have been like, oh my God, so many people are looking at me. Oh, I feel weird, uncomfortable, and I'll just like shrink even further. But now it's like, yo, this is my expression. Yo, I love making people be able to like, oh, I really like that shirt. Oh, that's dope, where'd you get it? You know, or like feel inspired to just be more themselves because they see other people being the way they wanna be, dressing the way they wanna dress, vocalizing, projecting, saying the things they want, right? There's so many people that you liberate by being able to do this, right? I remember Machine Gun Kelly, love him or hate him, he is unabashedly himself. And he talked about why he cares so much about fashion. He's like, I like being able to create the experience for people to have a visually pleasurable time or experience when they see him or interact with him. They get inspired. That really is kind of the air of the artist, right? Now, my only conflict with this is I also love entrepreneurship. I also love minimalism. I love optimizing, right? And so these kind of go, you know, in opposites of each other. One's about flashiness, excess, like creativity, variety. The other is about minimalism and just like plainness, reducing the amount of decision fatigue that you have. So how do I manage this dichotomy? Well, I'll tell you, it's very easy. I'm pretty minimal for the most part in most other aspects of my life. My diet, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff, blah, 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 blah. But throughout the years, I'll pick up statement pieces. I'm still wearing statement pieces that I've acquired from three, four, five, even 10 years ago. I'm not even making this shit up. I have this belt that I got as a gift I still wear that belt from 10 years ago because it's just, you know, it just held up and I take good care of my shit. And so just even throughout the years, I'll just pick up piece by piece by piece by piece, things that I 
absolutely loved it. I'm like, damn, this is different. I don't even know where to find this shit. It just calls out to me. And you know what? I just got to rock it. And then I have it in my wardrobe. And that's why I'm like, oh, shit. I got my unique style. And so when I want to flex, when I want to stunt, I can. And same thing with you. Cultivate this like design that you know that you just look so bossing and that for the right occasions, the special occasions or the nights out or whatever, this and that, you could just whip it out. Not literally, but you know what I mean. So that's why I want to talk about the importance of this. Don't necessarily be that girl in a hijab, metaphorically speaking, obviously not religiously speaking, I support and uh, encourage people of all faiths and all walks of life to be who they are. And if that's who you are, rock it, man. Maybe you'll stand out, but give people a chance to also see you for who you are and get to know you. The type of you, the part of you that you want people to see. Don't hide, share that shit because this is what I realized. The more we hide, the less we give people that we want in our life to connect with us a chance to do so. And if you compound that year over year, man, fuck the types of relationships, the type of tribe you could create or community that you can belong to, you're depriving yourself and the members of that, of that connection. And as like a personal connector myself or a professional, if you'd like to call it that, that is one of the greatest things of life to be able to have that depth of connection with the very people that we want in our life and to be able to contribute to them. So it starts off with having courage to just embrace our own uniqueness and cultivate it and then share it. I'm off to uh, an Olympic basketball game that I just got invited to an hour ago. And that's why I'm, you know, I gotta, I gotta stunt because we're going out after. And it's one of those rare occasions where I'm gonna be able to go have fun in a new environment, in a place that I haven't been with some new but old friends that I've now like reconnected with. So that's why. I wanted to show who Andrew really is. Now go do that for yourself. Till next time.